Is this worker using the correct respiratory protection? You probably agree with me that it's just about impossible to know what respiratory equipment is required in this situation. We don't have enough information. Voila, now you've got a better assessment basis. But first, let's have a look at what kinds of respiratory equipment there are to choose from. The mask, or visor, is a key part of the protective equipment for hot work. It stops gases and particles from being inhaled. Some masks provide full face cover, protecting the eyes and skin, while others only provide cover for parts of the face. Be conscious in your choice of mask. This mask provides good respiratory protection and additionally protects the eyes and skin. Full face masks can be used with filters or can be fan assisted or compressed air fed. Fan assisted or compressed air fed respirators are recommended when doing hot work. This mask provides respiratory protection and it is easy to wear and use. Half face masks are normally used with filters, but some models can be fan assisted or connected to compressed air. Respiratory protection with a visor should always be fan assisted or compressed air fed. It provides good protection but is prone to leakage when working at high intensity and with a lot of movement. Now let's have a look at how we get air into the masks. An airtight mask is not much help if the air coming in is polluted. Pollution from hot work occurs as both particles and gas. Always use a combination of filters. Gas filters are selected on the basis of the gases given off in the work concerned. For example, certain types of paint give off isocyanates at temperatures as low as 140 degrees Celsius. It is the employer's responsibility to provide information about the type of pollution and to supply the correct respiratory protection so that you can work safely. Compressed air uses air from outside the worksite. Air coming from the compressor shall be checked regularly. Compressed air provides the user with the positive pressure protection that is recommended for hot work. Compressed air shall be used in enclosed areas where oxygen levels may be low. Fan-assisted air, also called turbo, draws air from the worksite, which is then cleaned through gas and particle filters mounted on the turbo. Filters are selected on the basis of the emissions produced by the work. Fan-assisted air feed gives the user the positive pressure protection that is recommended for hot work. What do you think now? Is the right respiratory protection being used? If you're doing hot work, use positive pressure respiratory protection using compressed air or fan-assisted air supply. The filters on the turbo must be chosen in relation to the expected pollution. Would you really want to risk serious health problems when they can be easily prevented by using the correct respiratory protection?